In this lesson, we are going to introduce you to the differential analysis of fluid flow. Now, in previous lessons, the system or control volume analysis depended on a finite control volume, and fluid properties such as velocity and pressures would be studied as they flow through the control surfaces. While this analysis is sufficient for simplified problems, the assumptions required by them make them inapplicable for the more complex problems. Therefore, an alternative approach is made where a differential element is analyzed and the fluid properties for the element are determined by solving the partial differential equations that result from applying the laws of conservation. Following that line, let's define a field as a function that depends on more than one independent variable. An example of this is a velocity field, which usually depends on the x, y, and z coordinates as well as time. We can define initial conditions as conditions that depend on time. For example, if you were to drop an object into free fall, the velocity of the object at time equals zero would normally be zero. That's an example of an initial condition for a system of equations. We will define boundary conditions as conditions that depend on a space coordinate. Some examples of boundary conditions can be found by looking at the no-slip condition. Let's consider the flow in the figure. In the figure, the x component of the velocity, also known as u, is a function of x, y, and time. However, the no-slip condition tells us that the velocity of the fluid particle in contact with the solid will be equal to the velocity of the solid boundary. In this case, the velocity of the fluid at any point where y equals 0 should be equal to the velocity of the lower boundary, which is 0. Similarly, the velocity of a fluid particle at y equals 10 millimeters should be equal to the velocity of the upper boundary, which is 0.32 meters per second. Another example of a boundary condition can be found on free surface or open channel flow. In the following example, the pressure field is a function of the y, also known as the depth. We know that the pressure distribution is hydrostatic. We also know that at the surface, the pressure of the fluid particle is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Therefore, we can say that the pressure at y equals zero is equal to atmospheric pressure. 